What's up, go-getters? It's your boy, Coach Twin, and I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for coming back to watching. And um, this video is I'm gonna is about teaching you how to read level two on how to enter and how to enter a trade and how to and when to exit a trade. Because this is specifically for day trading. If you're an investor, this is not for you. So peace out. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs> But first, before I get into it, I want to answer this question here that this uh, young lady has on my um, <clears throat> on my YouTube comments. So here, let's just let's just get into it. All right, she asked, "Do you think L A I X has another chance on Monday?" And the answer is, well, if I'm looking at the chart here, and this is not financial advice, this is just me teaching you how to read data. From reading the data on level two, this is level two right here, or order book in Webull. So uh, make sure you subscribe. I, I use Webull a lot to teach because I think it has the best data because I, I'm trying to learn TD Ameritrade right now, uh, Think or Swim. And I'm looking at the same LAIX <laughs> level two and I'm just like, sad. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It, it's less data for me. And so I wanted to uh, make sure that when I enter a trade and I exit a trade, I enter and exit when there is a strong support that's when you enter, and when there is a weak uh, support, you kind of watch it a little bit, okay? So here, I have two videos here, all right? Uh, but before I get into the video, again, I wanna, I wanna talk about this because it's relevant, and it was popping, like LAIX was popping on Friday, so I wanna talk about it today. Uh, does it have a chance on Monday? From looking at the charts, it popped up, it started at like one something, right? Almost $2, it popped all the way up to 11 something, like, in the morning and then it dropped like it just kept dropping and then in after hour it's starting to swing back up based on looking at the chart now if i'm reading level two all right right here the strong support would be to try to enter the trade around two like based on this data like right now right now all right because it'll change later when you look at the data later on okay right now around mm, three dollars or around 280 280 between 270 to 290 would be like optimum, all right? That is when you should enter the trade based on this specific data and reading the bid price, all right? So this is basically your pre-order price for how much people are willing to pay for this thing. And there looks like to be, I'm pretty sure this is fake because the number's too nice, all right? 100,000, really? That, that's probably a fake support. So um, that's when you should enter. If, it, it, if, if you see it touch, go back up, touch, and go back up, meaning touch this specific price and then pop back up. When the price keep popping up, that is a strong support. That's when you know you should enter. So now that I've answered that question, I'm gonna show you of me when I'm trading Occugen last Friday after hours. I mean, that thing was popping. But uh, let me just show you this video right here and I'll show you the support level that uh, I was entering the trade in. And here, just enjoy and look at how I'm looking at the data. It's after hour Occugen. Got a nice little support here, pushing up the price. Hopefully it looks real. It tapped it a few times and then it bounced back up. So this is what you call a support line based on this large order number right here to buy in. Hopefully it's not a fake one, but that's what you look for as a support to help push the price back up. So as you can see, there was a nice strong support at that specific buy-in price. And then it, it did dip and then it came back up again because it, it was, you know, I think there's like a lot of new traders and they just they just want to get in on the trade even after hours. So Occugen took off uh, after hours, which is which is good for me because I nearly broke even last Friday coming from the depths of negative $3,000 to only losing 62. That's mm, that was a good trading. That was an amazing trading day. Uh, but yeah, but the next part is I want to show you when to exit. So look at level two bid price for when to enter a trade and then when do you exit you need to look at the ask price if the ask price if i'm looking at this data again again going back to laix i don't see any suppression price meaning like a really big number on the ask side meaning that there's a lot of people trying to sell at that specific price that means that that's a ceiling there that people are going to try to break or it, it'd be such a strong ceiling it'll keep dropping the price it'll touch the ceiling and the price will drop back down so that's when you don't want to enter the trade that's when you want to actually maybe exit the trade and then wait for, and see what happens because that's what i normally do 
and I play it pretty safe, but some people, you know, if you're a little bit greedy, if it pops, if it breaks, it, it pops like 10 to 15 cents. And you can imagine if you're trading like 10,000 shares, you know, 10, 15 cents is a big difference. I got $1,500. Okay, so that's something to think about when you're trading like, like I trade, you know, like really high volume shares because I don't do options. I like penny stocks. <laughs> I heard it was the hardest stock to do and I like the challenge, you know? But anyways, here's a video of me showing you there was a support in Occugen and there was a resistance in Occugen. So you can see, you know, the, the numbers and how they play. All right, so I hope that this helps you, okay? So let's get into this video of looking at the resistance price. So it broke past to 8.55, but then people putting up a uh, resistance right here. So this is the support, this is the resistance. So it looks like the support is stronger than the resistance based on numbers alone. But with the, the momentum of this stock, I'm hoping it'll go to you know, 8.55 again. I was actually hoping it would go to like 8.70 and then I'll take profits, but I was too slow. At, I saw it at 8.50, I was gonna take profit, I was too slow. But yeah, that is the support right here, and that right there is the resistance. All right, well then that's it. That's all I have for you. That is the lesson for when to enter the trade if you're day trading and when to exit a trade if you're trying to you know maximize your profits. And knowing when to enter and when to exit on a day trade is extra critical. Like if you cannot do that and read the data fast enough and analyze it, it will like the, the price can tank on you and it, it, it sucks when that happens. It, for the most part, this is not a foolproof trading strategy. This is, this works for me like 80 to 90% of the time. There are those 20 to 10% of the time when it's just like there's a fake support and then it just drops even lower, like 10, 15 cents. And that can happen. It, it usually happens uh, if, if it's a support that is fake. So you need to pay attention to if the price pops up out of nowhere, if like the support pops up out of nowhere in like a really large quantity and it just disappears again, that's when you know it's a fake support. There's also the opposite, which is a fake ceiling. So sometimes people are trying to push the price down because they're short selling. So sometimes if the price is so high, I mean like the, the, the ceiling is, is, is such stacked up with so much people trying to set, buy or sell, right? That it looks weird and it pops in and pops out. That means that someone's trying to short the sell. That means that there's really no ceiling there. So you really have to pay attention to the level two. And that is why a lot of people don't want to day trade. They don't have time to pay attention to all that stuff. But if you're going to be a day trader like me, I like day trading. Uh, I am part-time investor, <laughs> a small part investor, meaning I have my longs, like my Tesla, my Jeevo, my fuel cell. You know, fuel is hot right now. Clean energy is hot right now. So I'm all up in that those stocks for my long position. But then my day trades, I have about like half my funds to about mm, a third of my funds, like trading if I'm bag holding a third, if I'm if I'm like not bag holding, I would trade high volume shares and look at level twos when to enter and when to exit. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. Um, maybe the next video will be reading level one for momentum. All right. So uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like this video because it helps the YouTube algorithm to get this video out there to help other people. Okay and. Your boy just want to help people. I mean, I keep this stuff to myself, but why not um, share? You know what I mean? Sharing is caring, right? <laughs> Anyways, I am rambling. I just had a pretty good weekend. Um, had an episode with my daughter, but, uh, you know, we uh, we kind of patched it today. So, and we all went bike riding as a family and stuff. So, yeah, you know, your, boy, your boy's having a pretty good day after a rough yesterday. This day was a really good day. So, yeah, got to be like, you know, ice cute, got to say today was a good day <laughs> all right don't forget like share and subscribe the guy's gonna pop up and then um get your hands ready for those of you who are returning and for those of you who are new get your hands ready as well and just follow along here we go rock paper peace let's hang out again in the next video oh and sign up for weeble the link is down below and my patreon deuces <laughs>